Hey there, Chad with Prodril's customer success team here. In this video, we're going to go over how to add new customers into Prodril. What you can see here from the home screen and the welcome page is that we have the customer tab, which will take you straight to what we call the people page navigated to the customers tab. Additionally, we could add customers right from here anytime. The same is going to the people page. But in this case, we'll go ahead and navigate over there. And you can see at the top, there's three separate tabs, one for employees, one for contractors, and one for customers. We'll go ahead and click on the customer tab here. What you see is this is a brand new account, so we don't have any customers within the system. So let's go ahead and add uh, Bob Vance into the system. So we have Bob Vance, and uh, we'll give Bob a phone number. So. And then we will go ahead and uh, give his company a name, Vance Refrigeration. And then what you see here is the use company as display name toggle. If we toggle that, you'll see the company name and the contact name flip switches. Um, so in this case, Vance Refrigeration is first and Bob Vance is our contact at this company because the company is primary. We'll go ahead and leave it as Bob Vance is the person there with Vance Refrigeration as the secondary. And then we can go ahead and add an email. So we'll do bob.vance at Vance refrigeration.com. Okay, now what you can see is once we've added an email, there's the ability to add another email. The same thing happens with the phone number. You have a phone number and the ability to add additional phone numbers. As well, you can select multiple types of phone numbers and then additionally here you could put um, specifically Bob if you wanted to indicate that this is Bob or if there were multiple phone numbers, who exactly it is that you're contacting. Down here you can add an address, um, we'll go ahead and punch one in, uh, Scranton, Pennsylvania, and then uh, put that in the system there, and then of course an additional address that you could add uh, as well for this contact. And then notes about this person, social media link, color of the uh, a customer record and then a sales rep specifically associated with this contact and in here as well you can see add a project or add a project lead so in Prodril a project is an active job that you're working on and a project lead would be a potential job that you might be doing for this customer uh, in this case we have neither because we're just adding in a brand new customer but say you have a couple archived or old projects they'll show up here this will be the kind of main record for this customer of everything you've ever done with them additionally you can see estimates photos or files this will take you to other parts of Prodril and show you specifically those items within uh, Prodril for this this particular contact and that's uh, how to add customer information within Prodril Additionally, we can take an Excel spreadsheet or a CSV file from maybe some other CRM or another system that you've used and bring those into Prodril. Our support team's happy to help you with that and uh, feel free to reach out to us. Go ahead and uh, click on the Employees tab here. You'll see our Prodril support phone number. Give us a call anytime and we'll be happy to help get that uh, information in there for you. And that's uh, how to add a customer within Prodril. Thanks so much.